Pangaea supercontinent was ripped apart by a shrinking ancient superocean. This is what caused cycles in Earth's history, in Earth's geology. The ancient ocean linked to supercontinents breakup. The shrinking Tethys ocean could have ripped Pangaea apart. This is by Thomas Sumner on Science News for Students. It's also part of what's up with that. Curtin University researchers believed that ancient supercontinents formed and then fell apart through alternating cycles spanning hundreds of millions of years that involved super oceans being swallowed and thus restructuring the Earth's mantle. The research published in science journal Precambrian Research found the supercontinents assembled and broke up through alternating processes of introversion and extroversion. The latter process caused supercontinental rhodinia to be turned inside out by tectonic forces, thereby consuming the surrounding superocean and leading to the creation of Pangaea, the supercontinent that incorporated almost all of the Earth's land masses. Rhodinia have formed via introversion, where the internal oceans formed during the breakup of previous supercontinent Nuna were consumed. Lead researcher John Curtin, distinguished professor Zhen Xian Li of the School of Earth and Planetary Sciences at Curtin University, said the assembly and breakup of supercontinents occurred in alternating cycles of about 600 million years. Quote, in the past 30 years, researchers discovered that Pangaea-like supercontinents existed at least twice before Pangaea, occurring roughly over 600 million years in what is known as the supercontinent cycle. Unquote. This is what Professor Lee said. Quote, More recently, researchers studying Earth's geochemical records and formation of minerals deposits identified even longer-term variations in these cycles, but it was not known why. Unquote. Professor Lee and his team of Curtin researchers funded by the Australian Research Council's Laureate Fellowship Grant, recently discovered that the answer to this question could be found in the history of some of Earth's deepest oceans. Lee said, we found that supercontinents appear to assemble through two alternating processes of extroversion and introversion. More intriguingly, these two alternating processes determine not only whether the superocean survives, but also whether the circum super ocean ring of fire, like the present day Pacific ring of fire, survives. Quote, if the ring of fire survives along with the superocean, then the Earth's mantle structure maintains a similar pattern to the previous supercontinent. If not, then the mantle gets completely reorganized. Such alternative ways of supercontinent assembly, along with the survival or regeneration of the superocean and the ring of fire lead to the presence of an Earth cycle twice as long as the 600 million year supercontinent cycle and influence the formation of some of the planet's resources." End quote. This paper decoding Earth's recent modulation of supercontinents, cycles and longer superocean episodes, we'll read more on that. The abstract saying supercontinent cycle of episodic assembly breakup of almost all continents on Earth is commonly considered the longest period variation to affect the mantle convection. Global zircon, HF isotopic signatures and seawater, SR isotope ratio suggests the existence of a longer term variation trend that's twice the duration of the supercontinent cycle. Here we propose that since two billion years ago, the superocean surrounding a supercontinent, as well as a circum supercontinent subduction girdle, survive every second supercontinent cycle. This interpretation is in agreement with global paleogeography and is supported by variations in passive margin, origin, and mineral deposit records that each exhibit both 500 to 700 million years periodic signal 
and a 1,000 to 1,500 million years variation trend. And we suggest that the supercontinent cycle is modulated by an assembly that alternates between dominantly extroversion after a more complex breakup and dominantly introversion after an incomplete breakup of the previous supercontinent. And in uh, Science for Students we see that's concerning the shrinking Tethys Ocean, ripping apart Pangaea. The breakup of ancient supercontinents may have been an outside job. That's the conclusion of scientists who re-examined the tectonic plates who were doing around 200 million years ago. Those plates carrying the land masses and seafloors as they move across Earth's syrupy, bendable mantle. The scientists concluded that Pangaea, the supercontinent that once held most of Earth's land, appeared to have been ripped apart, and the shrinking of the ancestor of the Indian Ocean may have been all it took to do that, he argues in a newly published analysis. The outer shell of the Earth is covered with more than a dozen tectonic plates. These pieces of the planet's crust slowly grow and shrink and move, and their movement is one reason earthquakes can occur. It also is one reason that planets, continents sit in different locations today than they did in the distant past. Roughly 300 million years ago, there was no Africa or North America. All of Earth's major land masses were squashed into one huge supercontinent. Earth scientists refer to this megacontinent as Pangaea. Some 100 million years later, Pangaea being breaking apart, began breaking apart in the Atlantic Ocean started to form between what would become North America and Africa. Because Earth's size didn't change, the creation of a new ocean had to be balanced by the destruction of crust somewhere else. That occurred at sites known as subduction zones. These sites are where surface rock plunges into Earth's interior and melts again. Geoscientists have proposed two sites for where the subduction might have taken place when Pangaea began breaking apart. One is the ancestor of the Pacific Ocean. The other is Tethys, a forerunner of the modern Indian Ocean. Tethys crumbled, crumpled as the Earth, early African Eurasian continents drifted together. To the east and western edge of North America may have steamrolled over the early Pacific Ocean. Determining which ancient ocean allowed the Atlantic crust to form poses a challenge because of the plate shape, says Fraser Kepi. He is an earth scientist at Nova Scotia's Department of Energy in Halifax, Canada. The problem is that Earth is round, a sort of conveyor belt existing between newly forming and sinking sections of Earth's crust. But if you cut up a globe and then lay it flat, nothing lines up like it should. That makes it difficult to figure out where the conveyor belt starts and ends. Scientists need to see which areas are parallel to each other, but any flat, flat map will distort this. So Kepi tried another approach. A traditional flat map is anchored at the North and South Poles. Kepi insist, instead treated a map that is circular and centered on a fixed point near Southern Europe. On that map, he plotted out a movement of the tectonic plates as Pangaea broke apart. Continents rotated around the fixed point like the swinging hands of a clock. From this new perspective, the shrinking Tethys and growing Atlantic both extend outward from the circle center parallel to each other. The edge of the early Pacific sits along the circle's edge. That ocean is perpendicular, not parallel to the other two regions, and by looking at this arrangement, the Atlantic's growth clearly seems likely linked to the Tethys Ocean, not the early Pacific, Kepi says. And he reported his observations on February 27th in Geology. He said, when I first saw this, I was really shocked. It was absolutely apparent that the Atlantic and the Tethys are the compensation system, not the Atlantic and the Pacific. Kepi proposes that Tethys Ocean was the driving force behind Pangaea's breakup. Gravity pulled the crust beneath Tethys into the subduction zone, that yanked the crust on Pangaea's Eurasian edge. If strong enough, this tug could have ripped the supercontinent apart between Africa and North America. That was a weak point. It was where two land masses had stitched themselves together millions of years earlier. This scenario is different from the currently accepted 
one for Pangaea's breakup. That one holds that material from Earth's interior sprung up along the boundaries between North America and Africa, and this would have pushed the two continents apart. Kempe says that this theory makes less sense than his new one. Why? It relies on a big coincidence. It says the new crust material must have been bubbling up in the perfect spot along one of Pangaea's seams. The new work signals that scientists may now have to rethink what led to Pangaea's demise. This is what Stephen Johnson, geologist at Canada's University of Victoria, British Columbia, says. Everything we think we know about Pangaea is up in the air now. Kepi's work isn't the final word on Pangaea's breakup, Johnson says, but it does make predictions that geologists can test. Scientists now can look for something like an ancient fault in the Pacific where two tectonic plates scrape together. Quote, the great part about this work is that it's clear, simple, and testable. You can go out into the field, look at the rocks in light of this model, and test it. End quote. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.